If you have a close look, you can see the question in this Q&A is coming from an attendee identified as attendee 1. This is an anonymized attendee identity. Let's go over how we can manage identity and security inside of a Meeting Pulse meeting. Meeting Settings. This is done inside of the Meeting Settings right here. In the Meeting Settings, choose Access and Identity Settings. As you can see here, we have anonymized attendees selected. That means that even if the meeting got some attendee data elsewhere, for example, if an attendee entered their name upon entering the meeting, it will be stripped out and everybody will appear as attendee one, attendee two, and so on. Require name and email. If you don't want anonymity, you can turn off anonymized attendees and turn on prompt for name and prompt for email. This will require attendees to enter their name and email in order to enter the meeting. Password protected meetings. In order to secure the meeting and further control who enters, I can also put a password on it that all attendees would need to provide. Maximum security, customer access codes. The most robust way to manage identity is to choose require custom access code. Once you turn on access codes, the attendees tab becomes relevant and you need to manage the individual attendees who will be allowed into the meeting. Adding attendees via template. First, click add attendees. You'll need to add their names and emails, so start by downloading the CSV template. The simplest template will allow you to enter their email and name. When you're done, save the CSV and you can click Upload Attendees List. Now you can see these attendees with their names uploaded. You can see here who has and hasn't joined the meeting yet. We've had a few trial attendees before too. We generated an access code for Aaron and Bob these individual five-digit codes. Now that the meeting is locked down with our require custom access code setting, we can start a new incognito browser window to see what the attendees will see. Now when we come into the meeting, the meeting will request our personal code. There are a few different ways to get these codes to the attendees, but in this case, if Bob enters Bob's code, he can see his identity within the meeting. This is a secured meeting with managed identity.